Introducing Sync Sequences, a solution to help orchestrate high-touch data pipelines and dependencies. Within HighTouch, I've created four syncs, one for my accounts, one for my users, one for my account events, and one for my user events. Thanks to HighTouch, I was able to define these data pipelines without having to write a single line of code. I can now start syncing data from my data warehouse to Salesforce, but we might run into some issues here. There are some dependencies in Salesforce that would cause some errors if I were just to sync all of this at once. For example, before I can sync a contact, I need to make sure that the account the contact belongs to exists within inside of Salesforce. If I were to sync the contact without the account object present, there would be an error within my sync. Traditionally, I would have my account sync at midnight, and then I'd have my user profile sync at 1 a.m. This is a decent workaround, but sometimes it might take more than an hour for the accounts to sync. Rather than staggering my syncs or orchestrating this within an external tool, I can now leverage high-touch sync sequences to orchestrate the data pipelines and dependencies between my syncs. I'll navigate to sequences to create a sync sequence. Clicking add sequence allows me to select the syncs that I want to add to my sequence. So I'll go ahead and click add syncs. And from here, I'll select the four syncs that I mentioned previously. I can tell HighTouch the order I want my syncs to trigger. For example, I want to make sure that accounts is always going to be running first. Similarly, I want to make sure that the user profiles are syncing before the user events. Based on my configuration, every time this sequence runs, HighTouch is going to sync the four objects down to Salesforce, starting with the account records, down to the account events, to the user profiles, and then the user events. This is the order that I need to send the data down to Salesforce in order for all the objects to sync without any errors. From here, I can now name my sequence. Rather than managing four syncs individually, I can now manage all four syncs within the sequence. By scheduling the sequence every hour, HighTouch is going to automatically trigger all four syncs in the sequence in the order that I defined. With my sequence defined, I no longer have to worry about the dependencies in my data pipelines. I can now build complex data pipelines between my data warehouse and my destination tools without having to worry about any dependencies downstream.